How's it going guys, Alex here. Welcome back to another Dokken Battle video and today I'm going to be taking on the STR Janemba event with my Godly Power team and this is easily, by far, I've brought it up like a billion times now, my favourite team in the game to use just because it has my favourite units in the game all in one team so it's pretty convenient that I like these units basically. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day as always and if you do enjoy today's video consider leaving a like and subscribing if you are new. I have a question for you guys now. Let me know in the comment section down below which category you want to see the most, because I would imagine that quite a few, um, quite a few of you, pardon me, um, probably want to see a Patara category lead, which would include Super Vegito, Vegito, and Major Masu. So I don't know how that would work. Maybe a Power Bestow by God Link, because that would have um, Kaio, well, Kabito Kai. That would have Ultima Gohan, Merger Masu. Would it have Merger Masu? Does he have the Power Bestow by God Link? He should have it because he has a Patara Fusion, and that is the wrong lead. And I press wrong thing as well. So, Vegito, Super Vegito, Ultima Gohan, Kabito Kai, I believe Merger Masu does have that link as well. So, it wouldn't be the greatest. Actually, it would have the potential to be the greatest team in the game. It just depends on whether or not they release a new Super Vegito, whether or not we get LR Vegito Blue finally. Just so many things that can come into it to decide whether or not it's actually going to be a great team. But again, it's just going to be dependent on whether or not Bandai decides to release a category solely for Batari units. Who knows, they may just release a fusion category altogether, but we initially thought that's what the lead for Gogeta was going to be, but it just turned out to be um, the fusion dance, so we will see what they can do. Obviously, the Patara, or the fusion dance has way more options than the Patara does, because we've only ever seen two Patara fusions. Actually, technically we have seen Elder Kai, that'd be cool actually, an Elder Kai card, that's actually good. Let's go ahead and, um, let's go with this. But yeah, let me know which categories you want to see the most. By far, this is my favorite category in the game. I'm actually surprised they brought it this soon. The only way that they could possibly improve it is by um, releasing a new Beerus. Releasing an actually, well, releasing a good Beerus. I mean, the STR one is pretty good, especially at 100% in, um, in the potential system. So, either a new Beerus, or just maybe make a few minor changes to the STR one, which is kind of dumb because they would never do that. So, that's out of the question completely. I mean, the STR one is good, to be fair. But, release a new Beerus. Release a good Whis. Awaken the God Ku. Either one. Well, either one of the two, yeah. Release a new one. Awaken Ultra Instant Goku. So, there are still a few things that they can do to improve this category. But, so far, it's definitely my favourite team. Without a doubt, so no super attack here. It just works so well together, and it's just so fun to use. And that's like, well, I'm gonna be, I'm being completely honest here. I definitely feel like using this team has definitely brought a lot of fun back into the game for me. Just because, again, like I stated multiple times, it has some of my favorite units in the game, and it just allows me to, you know, have fun with certain events that I normally wouldn't have fun with. If that makes any sense at all. It makes the like. Just, Despite the team being overpowered, because I'm not going to lie and say, okay, this team isn't overpowered at all. But like, this team is overpowered, don't get me wrong. Especially when you're using the legendary rare with a dupe. But the fact that I get to use some of my favourite units of the game in one team just brings that fun factor back into it. And I am probably not going to do what I did on a global version and just undoking every single unit in my box. But it just shows you that it's definitely missing a little something and I have high hopes that they are working on making the event challenging or at least introducing something that differs from the Doken events because at the moment the main content in the game is easily the Doken events, right? So I'm hoping that they are going to implement something new just to make it, again, a bit more challenging and um, I'm definitely looking forward to that. And it's almost the third year anniversary in around three months or so we should be at the three year anniversary. Honestly, in a three months and a bit the three year anniversary is going to be happening. So I'm very curious to see what they do with that. So let's go ahead and grab these. And my rotations right now are not very good. All right, let's grab these as well. So yeah, definitely curious to see what they add for the third year anniversary. And let me know in the comment section down below what do you think they are going to be doing. Do you think they are going to be adding a new game mode? Um, new Super Vegito, maybe a new Buhan. Let me know what you guys believe they are going to be adding. I'm hoping a new, go um, new game mode because they did say that they are working on Battlefield. So they haven't given up hope just yet. And I'm hoping that they maybe turn it into some form of multiplayer. Just multiplayer would add like so much, like what do you call it? Just so many possibilities for like, you know, future videos of course. And just way more, like just add an ability to be way more interactive with some of you guys. Because being able to like 
play against some of you guys when it comes to Doken in some sort of like PvP fashion would be extremely exciting. Uh, are we good here? Nope. Did he seriously dodge every single attack there? Didn't dodge this one though, which I'm not complaining about at all. Got the crit as well. Now the question is, can Royce get this attack to go off? And he does, so... We have made it to the final stage. Which is where I would imagine he's going to get quite a few dodges in. And I didn't actually bring this up yet. I probably should have at the start of the video. But I think today I'm finally going to be starting the recording process for that video that I brought up like a hundred times. And it's just been like such a pain to like get everything sorted out. Just because I want everything about this video to be perfect. And like how frequently I do these types of videos. Which of course aren't out yet. Entirely depends on your feedback. And his tax out 2.5 million then. That's actually insane. Like how frequently I do those types of videos. Depends entirely on your support. So if you do, um, it will most likely it will most likely come out on Monday. So definitely be sure to check that video out once it is out, of course. But yeah, it entirely depends on your support and how well it does based on your feedback, of course. Because there's no point in me spending multiple days working on a single video just for like people not to necessarily like it. But I'm pretty confident that. A lot of you are going to enjoy it. Definitely is going to be different from the most part from what I've done before. But definitely is going to be a lot more entertaining than what it was before. If that makes any sense. That's a hint in the way. But back to the video. Okay, so now we have the Vegito Blue. I love Vegito Blue when. I'm definitely going to be uh, working with a few I love Vegito Blue things. That doesn't really make any sense. But make of that what you will. So now we have the Rose, we have the LR, and we have Goku Black. Kind of want to get the Doku mode with the LR, but I suppose it doesn't make that much of a difference. Alright, let's grab these. Can we get the Doku mode here? Um, I probably can if I go over this. Alright, please tell me that this is a Doku mode. And of course it's not. So, we could actually take him out here. It depends on whether or not... It depends on whether or not the attacks actually hit, but Goku Black got an additional. And it's a crit. Is this going to hit, though? I need this one to hit. Of course he dodged. And that is why I'm taking on the event, just because of that, like, legit, the only reason why I'm taking on this event is because of that dodging ability. And I kind of wish that the majority of the other events had that, because if they had that, again, would make the events way more challenging, just way more fun, like, just super unpredictable. But, oh, he actually can dodge now. Pardon me. And before this doesn't hit, I think he can. Can he dodge his Doku mode? I suppose we are going to find out. Can Janemba dodge a Doku mode? Here we go. Of course, hold up. Can he dodge? I suppose I will never find out. Um... That was weird. Can he dodge a Doku mode? Have you ever seen him dodge a Doku mode? I'm actually not certain. I feel like that ending was kind of anticlimactic because I kind of wanted him to dodge just so I could confirm whether or not he can actually dodge um, a Doku mode. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video as always. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. I apologize for the upload schedule. Um, it's kind of all over the place at the moment, but I'm trying my very best just to put out the best possible videos that I can for you guys. There may be, uh, maybe a few in between that I suppose you can class as filler videos. But yeah, going to try my very best to um, get the ones that I want to push out the most to you guys as soon as I can. Because it's kind of hard to like manage like doing two videos for like on regular and then working on these other ones that require way more time. So I'm going to try my very best to push those ones out as soon as I can. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video as always. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you all in the next one.